Peggy 18. Like most mob stories, it's a rags to riches story. Here's where you are, here's where you want to be, and here's what you have to do to get there. When the player first picks up the controller, they're fully immersed. And that's really something we've spent a lot of time doing. Our technology is a big sort of driver of this, you know, allowing players to feel like they're sort of taking part in a movie experience. We've built all the technology from the ground up to be exactly as we need it. Being it the AI system or streaming system, things which enable us to make the city alive exactly as we envision it. The fact that we built our own illusion engine enabled us to execute exactly what we wanted to happen in the game. Všechno musí fungovat dohromady, to znamená... Using the Illusion Engine, we were able to create a real living city. This is not a sci-fi game, so players know how everyday objects should react. It was much more demanding to get these things right so that players believe and trust in the game world. No, týká... The non-playable characters go a long way to making Empire Bay feel believable. We have a very elaborate system that allows them to behave normally in the city. For example, waiting at traffic signals before crossing the road. It uh, shows that uh, our game is not only good fun, but also that there is attention to detail. Every bullet you shoot, it has some impact. Uh, it can destroy a piece of the environment, it can injure the characters. The physics engine has a big part to play in this. Whenever a player destroys an object, it can cause a chain reaction of destruction. For example, shooting the gas tank of a car can cause it to explode, killing the enemies around it. Because of the sheer number of destructive possibilities, we needed the lighting to be dynamic. Our illusion engine is perfect for this. It can display lots of different light, cast realistic shadows, and it reacts to the real-time events happening around the player. In order to link this world with the gameplay and the great story, we needed to create cutscenes that were like short films. It's a very important thing for Mafia, the fact that the game looks like a movie. With a huge story in a living city with all these characters, you need to see what Vito's thinking, what he's doing. You need to see what other characters are doing. You need to see what's going on down the street, maybe. In order to create the cutscenes, we built our own cutting editor and engine. This enabled us to play the cutscenes in-game and in real time. It wasn't easy, but now we can animate anything we have in the game. This allows us to forget about the technology and concentrate on making movies. Et te bille pas pour le gamin, c'est pas grave. Pas grave? C'est de mon pote que t'es en train de parler, Eddy! All of us at 2K, we're all really immersed in, in the world of Mafia. We all love these movies, you know, I'm a, The Sopranos, Goodfellas, Godfather. Movies that portray the real mobsters as real people. I grew up with guys like this, so I looked at the story and I was like, okay, this guy is like, you know, this guy I grew up with, this guy is like another guy I grew up with, and then I just, you know, add a little more character into the characters. We spent a big part of our lives on this game, but I very much believe it made a difference, and people will feel the love that we put in. While there was a big focus on story and the cutscenes and the dialogue and the characters, we never forgot that this, first and foremost, is a game gamers want to play.